What's up everybody? Malcolm with Gifted Hands of Plunge Repair here. Coming back at you with another repair video. For those of you who don't know what we do on this channel, we repair appliances, we answer questions, and most importantly, we show you how to do things on your own. So if y'all can smash that like button, smash the subscribe button, smash the share button, drop a comment, you know, leave some feedback, negative or positive. It doesn't really matter because whatever it does, it helps the channel. So without further ado, let's get into it. Yo, what's up YouTube? Malcolm here with another repair video. So we got an LG direct drive washer. And the customer's complaint is that it smells like um, sewage in here. So um, first thing you always want to check when you smell sewage water is your drain pump filter housing. So here it is. It's located at the bottom left hand corner of your washer. Here's the plate. This plate just goes on here like this and it closes and it opens. So first thing you want to do is drain majority of your water out of this hose here, which I've already done. And then you can just open the filter. But ladies and gentlemen, please, please always check this filter okay look at this crap man look at that oh it's nasty and it smells just like sewage in there look at that that is disgusting so um before you put clothes into your washer empty your pockets check your shoes check whatever you don't want this stuff getting inside your washer because it'll clog it up and it'll also have your clothes smelling like crap after every wash load so also look in there get that clean as you can this is a recirculated hose water goes in here and it goes back into the tub so yeah um, if you have a smelly tub chances are you probably got a lot of stuff clogged up in your drain pump so um, after every load leave this open as you can see here, look at that. It's all mildewed up in there. So, leave this open. Feel free to take this drawer out and clean these cups. It'll help out with the soap flow and the dispenser for the bleach and the softener. Leave your door open after every load. And that is how you diagnose a smelly washer. Uh, so there's a few other things that can cause this condition These are one of the main things that cause this condition. So after you get this all cleaned just go ahead and um, Put this back in there But how I like to do it is I like to uh, turn it Man, there's a lot of stuff in here Yeah, okay, once you get that all cleaned up take that put that back in there Turn it counterclockwise till you hear a click or a slip. Just like that. And then turn it clockwise until it fits. If you don't do this before you screw that in, you're gonna fill this washer up with water and this is gonna just leak. Water's just gonna pour out continuously. Install that cap back in there. Push that back in there. And hey, you are good to go. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. Quick fix.